Hello, my friends. Welcome to another Sunday, and I'm so excited. We're starting a brand new unit. It's called Thanks and Giving. All right, so it's gonna have two parts every week for the rest of November. We're gonna be talking about thankfulness and then how we can give. All right, are you ready to start? Well, I was thinking about it, and I was like, thankfulness, what does that come from? It comes from being thankful to have a relationship with who? With Jesus, right? All right, we know that Jesus is there for us. We know he died on the cross for us. We know that we can talk to him anytime. We know that he's here with us when we call in his name, right? So we're thankful. It comes from having a relationship with Jesus and knowing that God loves us. Wow, right? How can we, how can we forget that? Sometimes we do though, right? We just get busy in our day. But when we think about being thankful, I want you to remember, we can always be thankful because we have a relationship with Jesus and a God who loves us always. All right? That's a lot to be thankful for. Okay. Well, I thought I would help you out. So I decided that in our family, we're going to make a thankful pumpkin. What do you think? Do you think you guys want to do it with me? All right. And if you don't have a pumpkin, that's okay. You could draw a pumpkin. You could put some things in a jar. You could draw a big thing on your um, tabletop. Ask your mom first on a piece of paper on your tabletop. All right, however you want to do it. But I thought I would do it with a pumpkin. And so I started ours out with a verse on the top. And guess what verse I chose? Some of you could probably guess because it's one of my absolute favorites in the Bible. It's 1 Thessalonians 5, 16. And it says, be joyful always. Pray, you guys remember? Continually. And give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you and me in Christ Jesus, right? So I love that verse. It's one of my favorites, but let's look at it. Why does God want us to be joyful always, All right? When we stop thinking about Jesus, when we start looking at the troubles of the world and the things that are going on and the things that maybe our own selfishness, right? That's when we stop being joyful. When we look to Jesus, we will be joyful and we need to seek his joy, right? We talked about that with the fruit of the spirit, didn't we? Right? He doesn't want us to sit back. He wants us to be joyful. Look for things that God is doing for you. There is always something to be joyful about. All right? So be joyful always. Pray continually. That means all the time. All right? Why does God want us to pray? Because he wants us to talk to him. He wants us to spend time with him. And wherever you do that, you can do it all the time. You could do it when you wake up in the morning, when you go to bed at night, before all your meals. Those are all excellent habits, right? To start praying. But then start praying just in the middle of your day. Find a place you like to pray, right? Spend time talking to God. The more you do, the more joyful you will be. All right, pray, continue, and give thanks. It's the last one. It's the month of thanks, right? It's a nice time for us to be reminded to be thankful but be thankful always, all right? Be thankful in all circumstances. It doesn't mean be thankful only when things are going your way. It means be thankful in all things because we know Jesus, all right? Can you do it? I know you can. Well, I thought I would help you out because sometimes if you just say, hey guys, what are you thankful for? Blank stare, blank stare, right? It happens to everyone, don't worry. So I thought we would have a way of doing it and also it includes candy and I think that's always a good thing. What do you think, are you with me? Miss Jamie loves you, I'm giving you a candy game. Okay, here we go. Move my big pumpkin, bring in my bowl of M&Ms. All right, so here's the game and this just means you're gonna have to have a bowl of M&Ms on your table all through November. Oh, Miss Jamie says. Okay, I hope, you, I hope that helps you guys. So look at your M&Ms, close your eyes, close them real tight, reach your little hand in and pull out one. And every time you pull out one that's brown, I want you to be thankful for a person, all right? So think about it, is your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers, um, someone you met that's a new friend, all right? Someone that's an old friend that you haven't seen very long, in a very long time. Think about somebody that you're thankful for. Thank God for that person. All right, stir them up again, close your eyes. Let's pull out an orange one. Every time you pull out an orange one, think about a place, all right? Maybe um, Bella loves to go to the park and read. All right, maybe you have a place. Remember I've told you about the places when I was your age that I love to pray, first on my little rock and then in my apple tree, then older as a ham in my hammock, 
now up in my bedroom, our little porch, right? Find a place that you're thankful for. Maybe it's your grandma's house. Maybe it's a special place in your yard. All right, find a place. Every time you pull out an orange one. All right, stirring them up. And let's pull out a yellow. Every time you pull out a yellow, think about a thing that you're thankful for. Maybe it's the sun that rose so beautifully. All right, maybe it's a flower out in my garden that I am so excited to see popping up. Maybe it's a book. We have a lot of book readers in my family and they're so thankful for their book. So maybe that's that. All right, let's see what else we got. If you pull out a green, be thankful for something in creation. You remember we studied Genesis, right? We talked about creation, but we talk all through the year about all the beautiful things that God created. So when you pull out a green, look outside and think about what is it that you're just like, God made that. Remember, I've, guys, I've told you guys this a little bit, but when my kids were really little, younger than you even, I would tell them, look up at the sky and you see the pink God made the sky pink for you, Bella. And you see the blue? God made the sky blue for you, Isaiah. Who knows? Maybe he did. Maybe he made a little frog jumping by. Maybe he saw certain bugs or butterflies flying by. Maybe those were just for you. Look out and see what creation has to give you a reason to be thankful. All right, can you do it? I know you can. All right, here we go. And let's find something. A blue one. All right, when you choose a blue one, I want you to think about what is a gift that God has given you. All right, and I'm not talking about our present. All right, I'm talking about a gift that he's put inside you. Maybe you're a beautiful singer or a dancer. Maybe you are a really good engineer. I'm telling you, I've seen some Lego creations over this COVID time that are amazing. And I have hope for the future of engineering because some of our TVC kids. All right, maybe he's made you really smart in math. Maybe he's given you the ability to be a really great friend. All right, look for those things. And if you're kind of stuck on this one, go back on our YouTube and look at some of the TBC Kids Nashville YouTube. Some of the videos talk exactly about gifts that God has given you. Look for the one with beach balls. That'll help you out a lot. All right, there's that one. And then finally, what color have we not picked? Oh, it's red. All right, when you pick a red one out, I want you to think about it and I want you to pray about it. And I want you to think about what Jesus did on the cross. And then think about why did Jesus need to die on the cross for me and for you, right? What is it that you need Jesus to forgive you for? All right, pray, ask him to forgive you and then thank him. All right, the ultimate thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for us. Thank you, Lord, that my sin, my sin that I did yesterday and today and that I will do tomorrow because we're all human, right? Jesus died and took that away. All right. So think about that one. That one takes a little bit more thought, but I know you guys could do it. So when you get those things each day, pick one color or if your mom lets you pick more than one color, do that. And you could write them down on this pumpkin. And by Thanksgiving, the real Thanksgiving, I bet our pumpkin will be covered in words. All right, and it'll be a nice little keepsake to remember, 2020, these are the things we're thankful for. You like that idea? Do you guys think you could do it? Now, if you do do it, I would love to see it. So I hope you guys will take some pictures and send me, and we'll pop them up on our Instagram and share them with all the other TVC kids, all right? So hope you guys could do this. If you can, awesome, send me a picture. You know, they could be anything from, oh look, there's puzzles here. There's um, a rainy day so you could stay in bed and read books. Um, everything is on here. Uh, freedom is on here. Let me see what else. I put, I'm thankful for Mr. Chris because he loves me with just his whole heart. He helps me in every single thing I do. All these videos, he's here to help me, all right? So I hope that you will look at people, places, things, creation, the beautiful gifts God has given you and Jesus dying on the cross for you. Look at that. Put those answers, those things you're thankful for on this pumpkin. All right.